Good afternoon. This is Shelby with Silky Botanicals at the Mugwort Manor in Seattle. Today I'm just going to talk about how to make rain barrels or rain catchments. How to save rainwater. So here's one of our five or six um, 55 gallon rain barrels and once you get your first one done it's quite simple the concept um, but basically and we got all of ours from Craigslist all just secondhand make sure that they are um, uh, like culinary that they're food grade barrels because you don't want um, toxic um, plastic being absorbed into the water and then you water your plants or your chickens or rabbits or whatnot. So make sure they're food grade. Um, also make sure that they are dark colored so they can be like a, a blue or black. If they are white or like transparent you can get um, black trash bags and wrap it up and tape it shut and the reason for that is is if it is transparent or white they will grow bacteria and you don't want that either because then ob for obvious reasons the water gets stinky and um, you don't want all of that bacteria in your water supply as well because especially if you're giving it to your chickens or rabbits or just livestock in general it's just not what you want. So, once you get your 55 gallon barrels, we also have, I'll show you later, um, like 250 gallons, I think. It's, it's quite a lot. Uh, once you have your barrel, you need to drill a hole in the bottom for the spout. Yeah. And then, this is just a rock there, and then you need to be sure you have a hole here. We've used a kitchen uh, screen net to just siphon uh, debris so it doesn't go in the barrel. So you have that to catch debris. And then we have this, excuse me, I don't know all the technical terms, <laughs> but this um, kind of bendable, movie, mobile, uh, black thing <laughs> that then gets screwed on to your gutter. And my spouse, you know, he had to play with the gutters, especially these bits here uh, because you have to have uh, this going the right way and then it twists to come down into here so you just got to play with it you want to get quite a few connecting pieces so you get the right um, angles and whatnot so once you have your bendy piece that puts the water into the barrel you have your gutter your connector and then here's another gutter up here and then another connector piece that again you just need to play with and a third connector piece which then goes up into the main gutter source okay so a lot of connectors some straight um, gutters and a, a, a bendable uh, kind of routing unit. That's basically how you set up a rain barrel. And might I add, these 55 gallons, they fill up like that. Like, hella quick. Because it rains for 30 minutes and it's overflowing. 
that also reminds me you always need to have an overflow so in the side here luckily behind this fence there's a little creek so it's not just going into our neighbor's yard there's actually a flowing creek um and so again we have it on the back and it overflows with you can get an old hose and then there's like these little um gadgets to tighten the hose onto the overflow unit so then you can route the overflow unit to where you want if it's you know down a um a creek or uh, a ditch kind of thing here's our polytunnel real quick it's doing pretty well we got four tomato plants i believe cherry tomatoes the ones on the deck are the beefsteak tomatoes our dog is less likely to eat the beefsteaks um more likely to eat the cherry tomatoes so we put cherries in here we got sage, basil, some volunteer nasturtiums, which are edible leaf and flower, peppery flavor. Um, we got lovage, and miner's lettuce, which is really healthy. So I'll just and we always leave um, polytunnel doors open, especially in the spring and summer. You get good airflow; it stays quite warm even with the doors open. So we'll make our way to the other, just a couple other rain barrels for an example. So here is our other rain barrel, one of them. Um, and again, so this one was actually transparent white so we just used um, garbage bags and black tape and I, was it me? Maybe it was my spouse, wrapped it up. And so the water doesn't become overly um, bacteria-y. And then this one actually had a spout on it, but my spouse added this bit here. Um, And that it's it's just helpful it makes it a little more direct the spout and then same thing if we peer through here we have instead of a black um, routing you know we have this white one that's a little bit longer and then we just have a, a kitchen funnel and that just catches the debris. And again, here's some of these connector pieces. Okay, so you just got to get creative and be patient. Um, and so you see it connects here. And then we have a straight gutter there. And then, which way should I? you can see so here's this straight gutter and then in this corner here there's a black connector and when this when this gets overflowed we connect it this is our overflow unit we connect this black connector into this downspout there and that goes into the groundwater and that's only when it's overflowing that's our overflow unit um, and then it just goes into it connects in the house so a black connector and then up to the house gutter And also, when this water catchment or water barrel is full, 
then we siphon it to this water container and this one is even bigger than this one so yeah that is basically what you do for water catchment and we try to save all the water you know we fill up during the winter and early spring as much as we can and then we use these to water our garden uh, um, give water to our chickens and our rabbits and it lasts all of spring usually till midsummer and then we tend to run dry but I would say that's pretty damn good for just using rainwater compared to just paying for more water um, with the hose right in the city and all that and the plants like the rainwater better anyways so it's more sustainable um, and it's more cost effective to catch your own rainwater I hope this was helpful if you want to check out some of the products the aromatherapy products that I make Go to silkybotanicals.net and I hope everybody has a beautiful day. Thank you.